My good friend from Good Morning Football, Fox Sports, and so much more. He's Peter Schrager back here on the show. How are you, Peter? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm just trying to piece together this Brady puzzle. Uh, I had Darlington on in the first hour, uh, John McClain last hour. Uh, now you. Uh, I, I unload what you know. We're, we're eight days away here's from it. potentially getting an answer here. What do you got for me? Here's what I know, and, and I think Jeff is plugged in in a lot of ways, and obviously John's got Houston and Moore locked in. I, here's what I know. I know that the Patriots have not made any necessarily big overtures to Brady yet, and we're now eight days removed, or eight days away from it, and this is what I've been hearing since the Combine when I was with you. Yep. There, will no, there will be no roses. There will be no bouquets. There will be no Robert Kraft sit down. From what I gather, this is going to be one of those deals where the Patriots are going to let Brady feel the love, feel loved, go sow his wild oats, see what he wants, and then <laughs> at the end of this have to make a decision. Go back to what he knows or go with some new team that, you know, I hate to put it into a relationship analogy, but to go with a new lover and see someone who is going to give him the red carpet treatment and all that. Because from what I gather, the Patriots, they don't do that with anybody, as we know. And they're not going to break their rules. They're not going to do it with Brady. That could be foolish. But this is going to be one of those deals where he is going to field offers from other teams. And I think at the end of the day, Tom Brady's going to have to do a nice old-fashioned pros and cons list. And I'm sure back in 2003 when you left what was comfortable and a worldwide yep. leader and said, I'm going to go start something brand new with people I don't necessarily know, that was a decision you had to make. I think Brady's at that point right now. And he got nothing to prove. Does he want to go enjoy – being loved and, and being treated like the king, or does he want to go back to work and go back to a place that I think, between us, he wasn't too happy at last year? Well, if, if we're going to continue the analogy of using me as an example, uh, when, when I made that decision, um, or, or, or part of it was, was easy for me to make because of the offer that I had at the table of ESPN and what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do and, and how I, 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 I played that. Uh, are the Patriots going to make any offer? I mean, they will. Ha- I mean, Tom will have to have something from them uh, wh- when he goes in and he he does check on his wanderlust, right? I mean, shouldn't shouldn't that be at least the case eventually? I'm not necessarily sure it's going to be the first one, though. I think that'll be one where wow. if he wants to pick up the phone and say, "Hey, here's what here's what I'm hearing," I think the Patriots would be there waiting with an offer. I do. I, I don't think they want to just turn the page on this thing. If if I'm Reading the tea leaves correctly, they're there, and they, they, they know what they need, but they are not going to court him, which is startling considering what he's given to that franchise and what he has been to that region. And yet, I don't think Belichick wants to play it that way. I don't think he wants to break his usual approach to free agency and the way they handle these contracts. Tom is finally a free agent. He fought to have it this way. He got it written that way. And I think he's going to see other suitors and other offers. And at the end of all of that, I think the Patriots will be waiting. And they will have an offer, I would assume. I don't think they're just going to let him walk without anything in response. That seems rather imprudent. But I don't think this is going to be one of those deals where they bring everyone in a room and say, okay, let's, 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 let's go get Tom Brady, Josh McDaniels, go fly to wherever he's visiting the Titans or the Chargers and go woo him back here. And I, I, gotta tell, I, mean, I did a week 15 or week 16 game against the Bills last year. I got to do the sidelines, so I spent a couple of days up there, and we had to speak with Brady. Uh, this guy wants excellence. He wants greatness. But I could tell he was frustrated. He was frustrated, and I don't know if he wants to go to work like that every day. He might want to start something new.